Oh, smarter than you! Ooh. He's smarter than you! That's definitely true. At Rooster.com, where uh, OG, YG try to bring you some advice on all the craziness of this market, where a lot of people are getting uh, uh, very bad uh, performing statements for their, their uh, 401ks for the March quarter. But who, you know who had a great March quarter? Well, we have our special guest today. Our special guest, Mr. Mr. P, P, baby, who's Ooh. conducting Rooster School. Rooster Welcome school. to the school. So you better pay attention. He's a big, mean, tough guy. He's born to be wild. He's oh, an yes. adventure guy. So you don't want to mess with Mr. P. So Mr. P, please bring some more enlightenment. We've got the light bulb here yes. right. to our to our listening audience because okay. they really want to know how they can make money in this. They 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 you know. It's tough out there for the consumer, for the average guy. You know, right. home prices are plummeting, right. stocks are going down, right. gas is almost four dollars a, a gallon. Right. You've got uh, the credit card debt is getting sure. worse. Auto loans, you know, everything's uh, prices are going up on food. It, it's terrible out there. For the, so for should the we all be trading for a living? Because I'm ready. I think this is the answer. So uh, you've already talked about the fifth discipline and, right. and uh, your your uh, your systems degree, uh, operations, uh, systems management, systems management degree, which is incidentally a technical degree, MS, not uh, a. So it's a heavily math oriented. Heavily math oriented. So math skills are required. Math skills, but basic math skills. Probability 101 is good enough. Okay, so you don't have to be a rocket scientist. No, 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 absolutely not. So it's just basic math. Whew, right? I'm just basic. glad about that. We got a chance here. I, I'm feeling a little better. I feel for all the little hope. people here, this is hope. So, so anyway, uh, training for a living. Is this a book that uh, you, you said that this is a book you've read and that uh, had a big influence on how you trade? It was. It was the first book. Yeah, because training for a living, the first half of the book. You have here the words and the music. Very important here. Uh, Training for a Living in the first half of the book talks about the psychological factors. How to deal with panic. How to deal with euphoria. How to deal with the influence of your friends. Buy this, don't buy that. Okay. Um, it's very important. It's a good book. Read the first half only. The second half of the book talks about technical factors. Um, how to read charts, uh, how, to con uh, how to concoct a strategy, uh, pretty much all wrong. How about the workbook? Did, did that help the workbook is terrible. Whatever you do, stay away from the workbook. No matter what, stay away from the workbook. Okay, so, so that was the book that you started with. Right. Now, was this enough for you to make money after you read that? No, because I used the workbook and I lost my buck. Okay, so don't stop here. Don't think you're really oh, no. ready to trade after you read this. Correct. And in, and in fact, from the school of, from the fifth discipline, the school of systems management, I could not see that the answer for me to a lot of things in front of a lot of people is right in front of their face. I can't tell you how many people have come to me and said, I did all the numbers, I did all the research, I picked three stocks, and all three lost money. My response, of course, is, you're a genius. <laughs> From which they look at me like I'm a fool and said, how can I be a genius? All three lost money. I go, it's not easy to be three for three. <laughs> Just, change your, <laughs> Just change your formula from the formula to one over the formula. In other words, use the same formula and just do the opposite Back to of that what counter it says. Counterintuitive thinking. Counterintuitive yeah. thinking. So, so Black Swan, uh, that book was also uh, a, a big influence on your investment techniques. Black Swan points out that all the great discoveries of man and all the great happenings in the history of man pass the test for random. So, so nothing's predictable. Very little is predictable. So, so, so really, uh, the only thing that's predictable is that everybody will believe something to be predictable. Which is kind of what schools of fish do. They just swim in the school. They don't really know where they're going. But the conventional wisdom says, since we're all going there, it must be right. This is the Wall Street view. Since we're all doing the same thing, we'll all make money. 
Well, that worked in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and a little bit maybe in the 90s, but it's not working today and it's not likely to ever work again. Yeah, even Warren Buffett says if you're going to buy a mutual fund, buy an index fund. Because sure. it'll outperform 90% of the mutual funds. Correct. And you won't have to pay a fee. Correct. For uh, poor management. Correct. And now if you go to the third book. Okay, the third book, uh, Winner Take All. This was also very influential on your... Number uh, one. This is number one. And this is a words and the music book. But again, you can't read this without the other three you books. You cannot read this without the other three books. And you should read this last. And in the Winner Take All book, among the words are rules of the three. Don't go buy a stock, two stock, buy three stocks or more. Buy the three stocks in three different industries. Buy the three stocks in three industries at three different times. So if I'm going to buy three stocks, I'll buy a gold stock, a banking stock, an oil stock. I'll buy them at three different times, and I'll take how much I'm going to buy three shares of each. I'll buy one today, one next month, and one the month after that. And when I follow all these rules of the threes, I'm very much likely to eliminate a random bad turn as having a negative effect on me. So there's, uh, there's a little bit of that diversity. Yeah, absolutely. Here. And in winner take all, he points out, don't deal in anything that's not a commodity. That's a good idea. We said we're going to be in a gold fund, that's gold. We're going to deal in oil, that's oil. And... I, uh, I use the term bank stocks, but actually that's not the best. I like housing stocks. Why? Because the houses are already built. They're sitting on a hillside. They're a commodity. You can trade a commodity. Okay. When you buy a bank stock, it says, well, we're going to get more efficient. Well, thank you. You have 50 years to get more efficient. If you haven't figured it out by <laughs> now, it's not likely you're going to get more efficient. <laughs> airlines, much like the banks, by the way, everybody. Airlines do the same thing all the time. We're going to cut costs. Well, you've had 50 years to figure that out. You're not going to cut costs anymore. They're all going out of business. They're all going out of the business, others. right? So skip that. So let's get back to winner take all. And uh, there's a lot in there now, but let's get back to the music of winner take all. Winner take all. And one of my friends just flunked this course. I was very disappointed in it. I, I told him to go out and buy a stock and learn how to marry, per winner take all, marry the options to the stock. The stock went down. He did not read trading for a living or winner take all. Bailed out of the position to cut his losses. Oh, terrific. He bailed out at 250 The stock is now $6. But he missed, Ouch. but it's but it's not that he missed the game. The lesson was you must learn how to manage a losing position. That's the number one lesson of all of trading. Once you learn how to manage a losing position, such that, for instance, the stock goes down 30%. Well, let, I, I know where you're going with that, but let yeah. me ask you a question here. Go ahead. Do you sleep well at night? Oh, yeah. Every and night. how do you sleep well with all these uh, stocks? Because uh, a lot of traders' biggest problem is their emotion. What your friend did is a very common mistake about of traders. Right. Because it's like, oh, my gosh, my stock went down. Right. I can't sleep. Right. And if you can't sleep, if you want to sleep, you got to sell your position. So how do you... Because uh, you must have some days like that, too, where you... Uh, we deal in the rules of the threes. When you're in three completely different industries, pick industries that cannot go up and down at the same time. Okay, Housing and gold are not going up and down at the same time. Okay, Oil and something else are not going up and down at the same time. And when you marry the option into your system, when you lose, you don't lose the full amount. Beautiful. So Beautiful. everything in the end is so when you know So when you know you're covered on both ends, you can sleep knowing that you've made wise decisions that give you the best opportunity to succeed in the long run. Winner take all will teach you how time will become an asset, not a well, Thank you very much, Mr. T. You've been a wonderful guest, our wonderful guest, our first genius. I tell you, are you a speed reader, my G? Oh yeah, baby. After this. Okay, we got a lot of reading to do. Because we'll until we read all this stuff, we can't make any money. Like. The genius over here, Mr. P. Have a good night, everybody. Night, everybody.